You covered the tornado here too, didn't you? Yes. Uh, did you actually see the tornado, or? Yeah, or you, sure. Oh, you did. I was at home. Uh, The day before the tornado here, Gordon Coster of Life magazine, and I had been down around Littlebird, Parma, where they had had the, the, the tornado that died in there, and we, we made some pictures. He was staying over at the Marquette. Well, I'd gone home and left my phone and stuff here. I was tired anyhow. And uh, all at once I heard this roaring you know, so and I saw that man trying to And well, all I could do was stand there helplessly and watch it. My uh, wife and her dad, who was there with us, and got down in the basement. And Sonny and I stood outside and watched the darn thing. Of course, went uh, northeast from us, as west of us, see. Then, about that time, my Gordon Custer called. He'd heard about it coming. He got on top of the roof. The Marquette had made that series of pictures from across cross town that, that made the Double Spread in Life magazine. No kidding. Yes. That's really uh, something. Uh, and, and he was excited about that. He was just as excited as a little kid. He'd never seen oh, I'll bet. And, uh, and uh, uh, of course, we jumped up. Bill and I went up and we put him on guard duty up in Red Star. And he's in the ring reserves, you see. Mm -hmm. Put him on guard duty up there, and then, uh, and then we stumbled over bodies and everything else up there. Man, it was a, it was a mess. Oh, I'll bet. I'll <laughs> bet. It wasn't funny thing. I, and, uh, so I felt like I did in a basement up there. The building's gone. There was a car up under the corner of the basement, so I kept leaning against the basement. And I said, I wonder whose house it was. I said, it was mine. So I said, left your car. Well, I had my car. Who's this? I don't know. <laughs> Put somebody else's car in his <laughs> basement? <laughs> Come to find out that car traveled, oh, a block or two. Oh, my gosh. It blew through the